I'll put it up. Well, somebody give us a clap. Who? I'll give you the. Still not, still not gonna. Pill. That'll do. Hi. Well, we're going to the NUFC fans forum, and we're going to start with an apology because we're overwhelmingly positive and started talking about takeovers and winning things and getting into Europe. We've now lost two games on the bounce. Our sincere. Sincere, humble apologies for that. I'm joined this week by, as ever, Cy Gallagher, the Man Mountain, the Cuddle Bunny, and for the first time, Adam. I never showed your surname. Is it Nicholas or Nichols? Nicholas. Adam Nicholas. That'll be me. Yes. Nice to know you pay attention. I was going to say that's a bit disrespectful. Oh, I got, I got halfway. It's not like it's been a while or anything. That's cool. <laughs> Imagine if I just pause him. Like, and Adam. Adam. Mm, yeah. Yes, lifelong, lifelong Newcastle fan. Lifelong Newcastle fan, sadly. Yeah. Well, there you go. Let us know if you like it more than you like Cedric and Andy Murray. We'll crack straight on. Uh, not with the uh, the Weir Tees derby, which is obviously of a huge importance to us, but with the fact that we've now just recorded two really, really tedious, underwhelming, poorly performed defeats well, on the entirely. bounce. Sa- not entirely? Well, the first half yesterday, well, Saturday, was good. It was it's all right. Tuesday by the time it scores out, probably. Yeah. Saturday. I, we should have scored. I we should have. We did score. Well, we did score. We did technically score. It was a moral draw. Yeah. Yeah, moral draw, I'll take that. I'll accept is, that. This, is that such a thing? <laughs> How, you, you are a man who likes to criticise. Uh, when it's when it's Justifiably. Founded, justifiably when <laughs> it's founded. What did so, you describe him as? The man who... The boy who cannot love. The boy love. who can't, 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 can't love. Um, but the, the Burnley game was quite disappointing because it wasn't a away game and you'd like to go and you'd like to see us grind these things out. But we yeah. fell victim to what's happened in the Huddersfield and the Brighton games. We've played a bad, you know, yeah, a, crap. a limited side tried to nick a 1-0 out of it and it blew up in our face but the but the Bournemouth game at home we created chances you were there mm-hmm. what went wrong in the second half well we didn't actually look fit which is strange because we've been double training sessions allegedly that's why mm-hmm. uh, but then <laughs> the substitutions were not right Lascelles was obviously forced and there was nothing wrong with that like he couldn't do anything about mm-hmm. it yeah. Cuban clock came in was perfectly fine but um I can't understand the logic of taking off Hosselu and bringing on Iosi Perez. That's one thing I can't understand straight away. <laughs> I thought, hang on, we're getting defensive. But Hosselu here, and then there we are. But oh, yeah. he also didn't change the system when he did that. So you're knocking long balls up to people who are four foot tall. What? What? I just don't see I the logic in it. You haven't got a target man, have you? When you're no? picking Perez, I mean, I have to say it's frustrating because last season I thought Perez was really going to be a boy. This year, I really haven't seen much. And it's frustrating when you when Sai's saying he's happy that he's coming on. Uh, sorry, he's upset that he's coming yeah. on for Hoslu. That tells you everything you need to know. Well, about we watched the Burnley game, didn't yes, we? we? Did, and he yeah. was he was very un- even by his relatively low standards. He was <sighs> underwhelming. Who Hoslu or Perez? Both, <laughs> yeah. both. But I was talking yeah, about Perez. Both. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Perez. Last year, I thought he, he had that. Even though he's small, he seemed to be able to dart between defenses. He yeah. To, he wasn't afraid to run at people. This year, he just looks like they just hold him off and push him away, and that's just not really like. It's just. I'm just worried that you might be doing a Sidgwick here and you're doing it miles away I'm from the microphone. Just I don't have to sit through and like raise it up well, every you know, single time. Just remember your I'll swear just, word. I'll just hover in you. Yeah, I know, yeah. Just remember that beep. Like five seconds ago, Sidgwick would say, There you go. What's the timestamp? It's about four minutes in, right? Yeah. So I'll try and remember you that. Remember that one. Uh so what's the problem? Is it just we're playing too defensive? Should we be attacking these teams more? Or are we just simply not the good funny, enough? The funny thing is we we played quite attacking in the first half and it was good. And we we should have persisted with it. But like I've seen some comments after the game about how we should we should stick with what we know and we should stick with the basics and that. But the basics got we beaten against Burnley. Mm. And then we played better in the first half when we weren't playing the basics of what we're supposed to know, which is don't play football at all, don't have the ball, don't win tackles, don't be good. I'm sure that's not... <laughs> that's what Rafa says. Word that is what Rafa says. That sounds like the team taught that had. That definitely sounds about right. And then they changed it and they were, mm. they were cack. So... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm that supposed to say. Brilliance, right? yeah. Yeah. Should, we should have had a goal, though. Was we that, should have. It was, on, it was, was onside. onside. It was onside. So, yeah, yeah. We should have had two if Hosselu's feet were belonged to him. If he had that any shot. feet, full stop would probably be helpful. That would be really useful. He's got, he's got uh, what's his face? Emmanuel Rivière syndrome. Oh, come on he now. Goes, he goes, he's got two goals. goals. Just like, oh. He's got two there. goals. Two accidental goals. Two, That's not true. Rivière had one accidental goal. His first goal wasn't accidental. 
Nobody was looking. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's right. It's good. Position it's good centre right forward play. Right time, I guess. You give him that. But and he got it the timing of his. I'm not having that Riviere comment. I'm sorry. You say these things. He's got a touch of them. He definitely has. He does not. He's just saying that because he's a centre forward. Okay, he's a, got a touch of Shola. I could. Which is worse. I mean, we're not getting to the Shola. That's a whole other story. Yet. That one isn't it? Whole what about story. right? Everybody's there's all the doom and glooms back already because we had two defeats. I mean, two games ago we were all like, "This is absolutely brilliant. This mm-hmm. what a time to be alive." I'll stop you there, Adam. <laughs> not all of us. Not all of us. No, no, that's true. Mm. It, 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 there's a, a cloud always forms, and it isn't because when you castle and I'm miserable, and some of our fans are miserable. It's because you can see what's going to happen when you're watching us play, and then you've got these games coming up that which are just Newcastle all over them. Of course, we weren't going to beat Burnley. Of course, we weren't going to beat Bournemouth. Bournemouth. <laughs> yeah. Because the way we were playing. Would never do it against teams that are totally limited and who will just play like long balls to the, to the attackers. So you're saying we're going to look better? We've got a run of tougher games coming up now. You're saying we're going to look better? We, we, we will. In this system, we'll play better against teams that actually try and play football. Well, can it look worse? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Chelsea and, and Man City and the like are not going to play an Arsenal, are not going to play long balls to gigantic strikers that we can't deal with. Mm. Well, like Lukaku. No, they won't do. No, but they won't do that. They'll they'll play it like nicer football than both Bournemouth and Burnley did. Do you That's think, true. Do you think we're better set up for to play the likes of the Man U's and the Chelsea's than completely? We are, yeah. yeah, and and fair play to Rafa. That's tactical genius. But it's not if you don't change your system hmm. to play against cloggers. How would you, <laughs> same thing happened last season? Yeah. I look, I agree with you that we're perhaps being a bit unambitious in the way we're setting out. But when you actually look at what he's got at his disposal. Although, I mean, he stuck Gale up front. He just went for 4-4-2. I don't really see what more he, he could have well. done for this. No, that, which is fine. He should have persisted. That's what he should have done. Yeah, well, see, nice to see the carry on from the first half and have the same approach. Do you think he specifically might have said, like, maybe tone it down? What, 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 you, what, what changed, what changed at half-time? Was it, was it a mentality thing? Was we're playing it was in different cell. positions? The cell got injured. It's the only thing I can think of, but it and doesn't really change the, the system. But mm-hmm. Well, that's did. a lucky then, isn't it? We can't really... Criticise too much if the cells no, getting injured. It, if you watch them, they definitely didn't come out the same way. They had been told. Mm. If they haven't been told, then they all want to be fired for that because they've defied them. I think that's a bit harsh. Very harsh. Fired they've all de- out. They've, de- they've defied. Except, uh, <laughs> in fact, there was nobody. Atu. I, I like Atu. You shouldn't have taken Atu off either. Who did you bring on for Atu? Jacob Murphy. Jacob Murphy. Now. He has oh, need, no, yes, he has no, signed no. the wrong brother. We need to talk about Jacob Murphy and the very distinct possibility that Norwich have absolutely had our pants yeah, down was a very good and sent us the wrong one. Because he has been... I was quite excited when we bought him. I thought sort of money that was getting touted... from the tune, isn't he? Well, I thought the kind of money that was getting touted about, 12 minutes, it it's what you pay for a, a good, reasonably good player. He seemed quite exciting. He scored some good goals. And in his few... Is he not fit? Because his few cameo appearances he's had for us, he has been... And I measure my words here, lads. Wank. Yes. He's like been... in pre-season, Absolutely. in substitute appearances, that one start he had, yeah. he's been, he can't seem to control a ball, he doesn't seem to know what he's doing. This can't be, this can't be a, someone who enjoyed a relatively good season last year. It can't be the same Well, he way. must have done something, right? They get, for the, to warrant, 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 warrant the 12 million, but then also actually gets, I, I, I wasn't confident. He's, when we signed him, I was like, uh, when we, sorry. <laughs> when we signed him, <laughs> when we signed him, I wasn't confident. I didn't think, I don't know. He wasn't a name I was looking for, particularly. He wasn't going to light the world up on Newcastle. And since he's come on, every game he's come on, you might as well have just took him off and we just played with 10 men. With 10 men because it was, it's literally the same effect. So there's got to be something to miss here. Is he not fit, do we think? Is there something going on behind the, the scenes? The fitness would suggest mm. when, why he's not coming on for more than six minutes a game. Mm. But it's... What is it? But no, it's, middle of November nearly. <laughs> yeah, started again. Not six fit? minutes. Yeah, started yeah, yeah. again. Ah, in the League Cup... No, he started against uh, Huddersfield, didn't he? Or Brighton, one or two? I don't remember. You did? Uh, see, the thing is, you, w- did, you, wouldn't rem- yeah. you wouldn't remember. Mm. He's, but he's he very forgettable, did. put it that way. Very forgettable. Maybe they're triplets. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob didn't want to play football Jacob anymore. Jacob Josh so is just Johnny Murphy. Just Johnny Murphy. Keep yeah. rolling them through. The rubbish one. Oh. Ah, go on, we'll send you up there. We like it down here. We're settled. So where was he again before? Was it Norwich? Norwich, Norwich yeah. yeah. His brother, his brother, and his brother scored an absolutely. Mm. Again. Cracking goal. Again. Again this weekend. He must have 10 goals him already this season. That can't be true. I think he might. He'd be Champions, top, he'd be Champions top scorer if he had 10 goals. Mm. I don't know. Is it maybe a case of just, obviously, it's a big change to come up. 
you see this all the time, don't you? Strikers moving to other clubs and then not being able to settle in and not being able to, even though they should protect us, say strikers, but we're going to be able to yeah. like, settle somewhere. Please stop with the phone, we'll be sick. <laughs> I've got this it's weird matter. thing about dry yeah, You're not allowed to touch it's the foam, I forgot. The sound of it or touch oh, like that. The, the idea of touching that is making us wretch. <laughs> and I hear him rubbing it, I'm just sounding good. It's like oh, rocking, rubbing it, rocking against oh, it. Okay. It's horrible. Yeah. Um, yeah, now you all know that about me. Send foam. So Rolando yeah, Arons. Send that in. This is a name that's Rolando, getting touted. Yes. Rolando Arons. This is a name that's getting touted about. Where's he? Very Who knows? Because he's getting st- he's getting played for the under 23s now. He's not making his way at the bench. Is There's more than a suggestion. That something is amiss there. Is it a is it an attitude issue, perhaps? Off field distractions mm-hmm. is the term I've yep. heard. Mm-hmm. But he he's one of them, and he likes God. He's one of them. One of them. He's no, one he of likes them. he likes God. Right. All of his tweets are like, "Thank God for that." Uh-huh. So that would be <laughs> fairly like contradictory. I'm dying it? to see. If, I, he, was I, a, I really, if he was I, a bad I'm lad, waiting with bit of breath to see where this goes. Well, Nile Ranger used to thank God all the time as well. I'm not saying Rolando Orange is like Nile Ranger, but I'm just saying there's. There's not really you can't really draw a parallel between somebody having religious a faith v- views. Well, and, no, and because uh, if if God was ex- if God exists, right, this is going existential. Oh, here we go. He'll be he's going to be furious with him, isn't he? If he's tweeting like that, and God God, God come, can see come Twitter. On, come on, yeah, he said it'll be nice to chat about <laughs> Newcastle. He said, and now I didn't know we were gonna. I didn't I'm, know we were gonna I'm, do I'm this. I'm I dressed all in black, and we're talking about. I didn't know we were gonna of, debate the. This uh, is, it's intense. This the meaning is good. of the Eucharist, yeah. unfortunately. I said if. <laughs> If sorry, my oh, mistake. So if mistake. if he exists, <laughs> capital H. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> if he I exists, got. capital H. I'm just covering a P. All oh, right, got you. Uh, then. Oh, I can hear the feminist shouting already. He's gonna be. Don't, not don't not get them on us. Not in the other. No, not in the other. Well, I mean, I've forgotten. Yep. Good. Right. So Ooh, Jacob Swift Murphy. Jacob Murphy. Isn't he? Would you start him? <laughs> well, the inna- we've got the international. Would I start now. him in what? I wouldn't start him in water polo, let alone Newcastle's <laughs> first team. <laughs> We've got the international break now. Is now not the time to sort of... No, because that's not much. ...get rockets up, bosses. I would imagine... I'd prefer, I'd prefer them to tell Rolando Ahrens to stop going to Chase or whatever the nightclubs are these days. church. <laughs> Pack this church business in. Stop going to Bar M and Macy's. Yeah. Bar M's not been there for <laughs> 15 years. Oh, nah, man, it's tup tup. Oh, hey. Remember Bar M? It was class. No. I used oh, to, uh, no. First I night I went out there, right? Here's a story for you. Top shot of Barham. I was 14 Barham. It was the first night I went out in Newcastle. I had I a roll 14. neck on. I had a roll, roll neck, neck on. <laughs> I had a roll neck because that made you look older. And I uh, oh. necked on with this lass and she spewed down my back. She was like, where was like, she? Where was she? On my shoulder like this oh. and rubbing me back. And I was like, oh, that's affectionate. And she was rubbing sick oh. off my back. <laughs> I got, I've, got a, I've got a Barham story. We made, hello, Dan. You see, I never mentioned you on this. We went out to Barham and it was, we needed to get to uh, Blue Bamboo. Or Baja before the twelve Baja, o'clock. Because it was like a tenner. It's like a tenner yeah. after twelve o'clock. It was about like five or before, and we had to get there. We're like, oh god, we've lost track of time. It's, it's, yeah. it's seven minutes too. Nice wall. It's and twice. Like, and so how are you down? We've got. Like, oh, I've just got this pint of cider. We're like, how are you? We've got to go now. He's like, all oh, right, okay. Sees this entire pint oh, of cider oh, off, right? No. And we're just like watching that machine. Just opens his neck, sees this entire thing off. <laughs> oh, biggest bit you've ever. Biggest bait you've ever heard. I'm like, right, come on. He's like, okay, takes two steps forward. Right, this is this is back in the days you could smoke indoors, yep. right? <laughs> and he just goes, oh, puts his hand over his mouth, right? And there's this couple on this table next to it, and he just goes <laughs> into his hands, and then just leans over, puts, oh, it, in their, puts it in their ashtray, and they're both sitting there like this. <laughs> and then, and then the pièce de résistance. On his wipes his oh, hands on his jeans, nice. and, we're, and we made it. We got in in yep. time. And that was probably not, nothing to him. Just... And did he pull? We bumped into Tim Crew that night on his 18th birthday. Oh, very nice. What a story. See, and it ties into your Cassie United. It's all so football perfect. related here, isn't it? That's, you guys have you've got it all down. My mate was, asked him if he was going to be as planned. good as Given and Harbour, and he went, <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. No, because Rafa is an asshole. He's an asshole. He's trying to oh. shell me. Um, <laughs> what are we talking about? So anyway, Jacob Murphy. Yeah, the international yeah, break. God, yeah. and then Jacob Does this Murphy. give us time to reassess how we play football? Or are we literally... Is the situation simply that we are going to lose these games and put in these bad performances because the investment in the summer was so bad we're finally getting caught up for it no, now? No, because we don't play... We haven't got a plan B to play against teams who are cack. Yeah, but what, what could the... Look at the... Look at the the resources available to him in terms of the players. Look at the resources available to Bourne. I know Bourne would sign Nathan Aki, right? But the rest of their team is basically just... Jordan Ibe. Yeah. Well, no, we want to Jordan, yeah. Jordan Ibe is not that much better than Jacob Murphy, to be honest. Well, I'll tell you what. He was all right. Bournemouth's 
plan B was to bring on Jermaine Defoe, who didn't score, yeah. but has an almost unrivaled Premier League goals record. What we we don't have that. No, but Mitrovic would have changed it. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, I was going to get on to Mitrovic. Uh, yeah. We're waiting for that, are we? we yes. That, we'll put, I, we'll put a pin in that. A lot of people said that a game looked tailor-made for him. I disagree with that, but I do think he would have made a difference. He would have made a difference. It's a different... Especially if if we did persist with just lumping these balls up. Their centre-halves were terrible. Mm. Absolutely terrible. We should have had many, many goals. Yeah. I think he's something that we are missing. If, like a Mitrovic character, when you want to play that football, it isn't maybe so pretty. It's about getting up there. and ch- Like you were saying before, Sal, you bring Perez on against a bunch of centre-halves, you're just going to eat him alive. Yeah. You put Mitrovic on, yes, it's a gamble, and I understand that Like Rafa doesn't maybe trust him. Red cards is like kind of his thing. But, you know, I would still rather have him on bundling people around and maybe making a difference than trying to just play that one route we've got and that's, that doesn't seem to be working. I still think Perez <laughs> at work in Barcelona. Yeah. I think he's playing oh, yeah, really well for our top mm-hmm. European clubs. I just don't think that he plays well in the Rafa Benitez system. Mm. Why? I, I don't know and I don't understand why he thinks he does enough to play him. I just can't. There are many mysteries in Rafa Benitez's brain that I don't understand. One of the things I keep hearing is that certain players either stay in the side or can't get into the side because he simply, regardless of their ability and how they actually play and what they do, he goes, right, I trust them to do what I'm telling them. Like, he likes Perez because Perez apparently, whether they're having a good game or a bad game, is doing precisely what he's so told him to do. So literally tailor-made what he said. Which is probably why Mbemba couldn't get in because he was like, look, I did appreciate he's a good Runs player. Forward. He's a good player, but he's yeah. not doing what I tell him to do. He doesn't stay structurally where he wants him to go. Which is why he was quite happy to bring him in at left-back, apparently. He's like, well, if you're going to run forward, it's not so much of a problem yeah. there. But he, As a he, centre-half, you don't. He doesn't trust back. Mitrovic to follow his instructions. You've, he thinks he'll play his own way. You've just got to the root of partly why I don't like Rafa Benitez. Right. Imagine... Here we go. Here we go. Philippe Albert. Brace yourself. <laughs> the greatest centre half who's ever played for Newcastle. Jonathan barring Woodgate, Jonathan okay, Woodgate, but he's injured. Not oh, in, well, he's still injured. He probably he's is still injured. Yeah. Was could, injured. He could well still be Glenn injured. Be in the modern era, in the Premier League, I'm going to oh. rub this for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to rub this for you. Oh. That's what Jesus. <laughs> well, she was sick down your back. Yes. <laughs> and then she did. <laughs> she did. She did. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> imagine if he played <laughs> for Rafa. I? Philippe, Philippe Albert mm-hmm. or Nikos Dabizas even as a lesser man's mm-hmm. version mm-hmm. both marauding centre-halves who used to join Never in with the Dabizas attack I was just about to say it no he was an idiot Dabizas but he used to do it he used to do it regardless of whether he wanted him to have you not just got to the root of the, your own counterpoint there why Dabizas was an idiot by marauding forward I don't know why I brought up Dabizas it's because somebody in the comments would go Dabizas oh, well, but, but and let's just focus more on Philippe Albert yeah. let's let's focus on the good stuff he would have made him sit back and be much more disciplined than he needs to be. Whereas I want to watch players who are just like, oh, I can't so say what that you, swearing. So what, you're saying is, with, what you're saying is, if Rafa had managed... There has to be a few wild cards. If Rafa had yeah, managed that yeah. entertainer side, it would have won the Wouldn't it have been league. entertaining? It would have won the league. No? Because no, no, it wouldn't have conceded what, I think so I many see, daft I goals. Think I see what Ty's saying there in terms of like, you've got players who want to be able to do their thing. Like, yes, you need structure, you need like stability, but... If you take away the unpredictability of say like Albert going yeah. flying on, hang on, sorry. Do you think you're on here to provide like reasons? Nobody ever agrees with me. I know nobody. Ever Listen, agrees. well, I'm here. This is things are about to change around here. <laughs> Good We've God. got ginger beer bullets. Yeah, gonna get ganged up. Ah, uh, yeah. You didn't see that one coming, did you? But yeah, I, if you take that away from players, then like they're, they're not being that player, and they're not going to play it themselves, and therefore when they get in these situations, they're not going to produce. And I can see he probably removes them for that reason, but I feel like the team might lose as a whole. There's two more examples of this, and it wasn't uh, Keegan. It was the Alan Pardew era. Imagine if Ben Arthur played for us. You wouldn't have played for Arthur. So you wouldn't have played, you exactly. Would not have the ball. But Ben Arthur was the reason why we came fifth, because of his play on the front three. And also, Cissé, <laughs> he was allowed to do whatever he wanted, not use his brain at all, and he scored all those goals. And then Pardew no, said, use your brain. go and play out left, no, no. use your brain. Uh, Demba Ba wants to play in the middle and he ruined him because he tried to put too much structure on him I'm not saying that structure is a bad thing people like Isaac Hayden structured player mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. John Joe Shelby is not a structured player but he, he sits back and plays in the I, I agree with what you're saying entirely however but I think why do you always do that? because it's just because it's interesting it's that nice thing I like I agree with you however, however 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 I think if you look at the players at our disposal we don't have the luxury of being anything other than organised at the minute I didn't disagree. I disagree. We've got John Joe Shelby, who every every idiot pundit in the world says he should be playing for England. Him, we've got Mick Marino, Okay, he's injured. Yep. But he could be the greatest centre midfielder 
in the world mm-hmm. ever. But that doesn't... If we, if we can't get him on the pitch... That... <laughs> no, I know, but... We can talk about loads of players we don't have and say that we've got a great side. Yeah, but I don't, I don't think we've got a terrible team at all. No, I think we've got one that's capable of getting organised think... and beating other teams, which is what we've but been I don't, I, do, I just don't think it has to be as, as limiting as that, as reductive. You don't have to make them all turn into robots who play football, who play limited football. Make, l- allow them to express themselves. I think there's definitely, there's still a degree though, and I think that, I think Cleo is right on that sense that you have to have the organisation. Like us losing them games 1-0 is different to us trying to play this like, oh, go out and do your thing mm-hmm. and get beat 3-0 because we've been not organised and we've had three centre-halves, even though you've only got two, yeah. right up the top of the pitch. Like, Look, ultimately, back, we're yeah. just trying to stop up this season and mm-hmm. if our I daft think, defeats are 1-0 yeah. defeats, we've got a much better chance of doing it. I think you've slightly misread us. Because I think we should be organised. <laughs> you should be organised against the we? teams who are going to beat with 3-0 if we're not organised. Mm-hmm. And we should play more expansive football when we're playing against Bournemouth, Burnley, Brighton and Huddersfield, who have all beaten us. They're all... <laughs> <laughs> it just, it's just infuriates as well. Honestly. honestly it's the, I'm it's just the, care drives, so yeah. much. It's the Chris Hewton thing again. Oh, not, here we oh, go. Not picking up points oh, against the teams God. that you have to pick... Points up against. Right. And you know where Chris Hutton got us when he got sacked? 11th, which is where we are now. Mm. So no, it don't. can't be a bad... But we, were, we were 11th, I think, when Chris Hutton got the bullet yeah. or 13th or something. Look, uh, we've got he, more points. He was, yeah. He was doing all right, to be fair, when Hutton actually went. I, I know, but... Don't, oh, don't get him on Chris Hutton. Please a, don't get him on Chris Hutton. If we're in a relegation season, right, which we are, because everybody says it now... Yeah, we are. That's yeah, no, but right, yeah. right. Two games ago, we were doing all right... Everybody would go when a relegation season and go, no, nah, man, we're going to qualify for no, Europe. We are, it's fine. we are. We've always been but, in a relegation season. But we've also always been a bunch of fans who go, oh, we've won a couple of games. <laughs> and therefore, of, we're going to. I think a bunch of fannies. Well, I was flirting with it, but yeah. But what I mean is, right? <laughs> right. If, it's gonna knock if me, we're yeah. in a relegation <laughs> season, I'm going to push the table over by accident. I'm going to get so angry. If we're in a re- relegation season, the points you look at are not Man U, Chelsea, Arsenal, Tottenham, Liverpool. They're mm-hmm. Brighton, Huddersfield, Burnley, Bournemouth. Swansea? Yes, Swansea. You're looking to beat the teams who are going to be around. Okay, yet. one out of five, Stoke. mate. Okay, one Stoke, out of five. who would beat? No, Stoke we wouldn't have beat. Usually, I wouldn't. Have counted. Stoke are in the league. They're lower than most of the teams you've just mentioned. I know, but I wouldn't have counted them ever because they're Johnny Walters used to play for them. Because they're Stoke, <laughs> it's like basically. <clears throat> but yeah, we should like fair enough. We should be trying to get points against them, like against everybody. We should be assuming we're going to get points, but also those four games should have been the first ones. If you're identifying which points you're going to get. I'm sure Rafa didn't sit down and go, I will lose them. No, I know he didn't. Man. I'll punch him. You're going to see the first fist fight on any UFC fans. Right. Okay. <laughs> International break. After that, who have we got? Ma- have we got Man United next? Ah, that the next one. game. That's the oh, champion. Guaranteed we're going to win that one. Man United away. Scrappy. <laughs> who, who are you playing and why? Marino's not back, I assume. I he's a superhero, isn't. so he might be back. I, don't, I wouldn't play the cells now, to be okay. honest, because I don't like him very much. Clark but... Lejeune. <sighs> yes. Okay. I think Kieran Clark's quite hard done to. All right there. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, hard buddy. done to by being left out of the team in the first place. Closer. I agree. I agree with that. Yep. But I'd still play him Bemba ahead of him. But Rafa's not going to. So it'll be Lejeune, mm. Kieran Clark. It'll be Yedlin even though he didn't have a very good game. Yedlin's been off the boil a bit. Mankio's starting to look a bit... Uh, it's because you said there was nothing wrong with him, Adam. Well, there is nothing wrong with him. He's just not playing very well. There's yeah. nothing wrong with the team. They're just not playing very yeah. well at the minute. He's solid, but he's not very good. Uh, but that'll be the back four, I would imagine. Yep. Unless but I mean, what would, you, but but I mean what would you do to change? What would you do? What you would I would do play... Yeah. No, I wouldn't. You see, I, against Man U, I would play the limiting system. I would play Isaac Hayden. I would, pro- I would have played Marino instead of Shelby, who was fit, but he's not going to be, unfortunately. I would tell Matt Ritchie not to get beyond the... Fir- the Halfway line. Ugh. Ugh. But what if he cuts in on that sweet left foot? He's never scored. And does, and does what? Is his cor- Honestly, his corners. He wants to be hauled over coals for them corners last week. We've got we've scored two goals this season. No, I, I know, but I mean last game. <laughs> hauled over coals. <laughs> last game, they were absolutely... I can't remember one not hitting the first man. Well, I'm starting it's to learn all yet. right when something happens in the past. It, that doesn't mean it happens forever. <laughs> well, I'm starting to learn yet, size that the, 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 the lane for like good and bad of a player oh, is yes. very, very... Oh, yeah. <laughs> In the side book is not very. It's airline. <laughs> so you you, you, pers- you persist very, for Perez and Hosley. I wouldn't. For Man United. But I ha- we'll have to. That's what I mean. For Man United, would yeah. you go with Perez and Hosley? I would. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. 
What about you? So I, would, I, I would prefer, I would prefer to play Hosselu and Gale, but Hosselu in the number 10, but it's not going to happen because Rafa doesn't ever listen to me. <laughs> it's almost like he doesn't even know you exist. Exactly. <laughs> That's almost like that. Um, the one thing I would say is, I think a game like Man U, bold statement, Sai, here we go. If Mitrovic, if Mitrovic is fit, right? If Mitrovic is fit, do we go with Mitrovic for Man United? Because... A bold statement, then he turns it into a question. That's the ultimate well, on. <laughs> diplomatic. Okay. So hang on, I would. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to say Mitrovic say against Man United. There you are, Sai, pull the trigger. Mitrovic However, I would like to know your opinions also on that one. Because it seems to be a point of contention <laughs> so here. so reasonable. Yeah. I, can't, I can't abide it. Yeah. What, who, who would you go Who's with, Who's going to play Man U uh, See, well, I would go with... And even though we've just been slated them, I can't stand Hosselu. I'm going to put it out there now. Hosselu, wherever you are, mate. See you later. He's got um, a little son. I don't care. He can take his son with him as well. He cries. Right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> take his kid. Me. Anyway, Perez, Mitrovic. I reckon, I know Perez hasn't quite done it, but I'm, I'm just not a fan of Hosselu. And I'd rather see, I've seen that pairing work before of like the, the Mitrovic, Perez. I know it was last season, not this season, but just Give it a go, man. Mix it up. But yes, I still want structure, but I reckon Mitrovic in there up front. I, you know what? I think he makes a reasonable point. Mm. Who plays centre half for Man U? Small. Uh, they played. They played back three against Chelsea last night. Hope, yeah. It was Small and Jones and Bay. Yeah. See, Phil Jones and Mitrovic would create a black hole. Oh my of god! Idiocy. <laughs> Everybody's IQ in the stadium. Would I was going to say, down. you know, the thing about you, they reckon if you get if you get a uh, mother duck. To walk in a circle <laughs> yeah. and take it out, the, the ducklings the will just follow each other. Going, yeah. Do you reckon if you asked Mitrovic and Phil Jones a complex question which had an open-ended answer, they would just go back and forth with each other yeah. forever? I think if you have a striker who who goes and stands next to our goalkeeper, Phil Jones will just follow him, and then they'll have no sign off. Just do that. That's what we should do. Just just walk off the Phil, pitch. Phil and Jones, Phil Jones <laughs> yeah. with him. Like, Phil yeah. Jones got physically and intellectually bullied by Alvaro Morata. Yeah. Now mm-hmm. Alvaro Morata. There's no intellectual. Threat to him from our team. No. Let's be honest. But I just mean, yeah, Marino. he just kept thinking him in knots, which was incredible yeah. to see. Mm-hmm. That own goal should have been should have been allowed <laughs> yeah, to stand yeah, and been yeah. the greatest own goal you've ever seen. <laughs> but because he just flew himself, yeah. flew, 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 flew himself to the ground. So much so. That uh, was speech. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How long have we got the card? Two minutes. Is it? Look, and I didn't look. Two minutes. <laughs> I went look. I, 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 I just went and looked. Look. I go. What time is it? Because you get distracted yeah, by yourself. I actually I did. Just, I just looked at my yeah. own face. Then, we all do it. Everybody does it. Yeah. Uh, any other business? We're getting special videos where's on the, the internet. Where's the takeover? Take you back to this camera. Because I was saying rude things. He was being. Yeah, he was being rude. Being Where's the takeover? We're still getting took over. Well, I hear we weren't allowed to talk about it because the disclosure some We haven't signed that. He's been. They are true. He's been waiting for this takeover. Since That's what happened the last time we were supposed to have a take off. That's what. No, miss you, pal. Um, oh, apparently, it's all Saudi Arabian money, and the volatile statement in the Gulf could actually be a bit of an issue with all this. Ah, but yeah, we'll so get to that next week. I saw the, the Chronicle uh, commenting on I know. the financial state, state of, of the, the Gulf. Yeah, bless them. It's great. We all have to. We'll have to try, don't we? Uh, thank you very much for joining us. <laughs> On the shut up on the latest <laughs> NUFC <laughs> fans forum, I have been as ever Adam Cleary, joined by Tormen Giants Bay, Cy it's Gallagher, not, and the debuting Adam N. Uh, you can follow us all on Twitter at Cy Gallagher at it's Adam Nicholas. It it's Adam Nicholas or the Twitter is it? The Twitter at, is at, at it's, it's Adam Nicholas and at Adam, Adam Cleary also at NUFC fans. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Tell your pals. We're still trying to grow the channel as much as we possibly can. Until next time, till after the international break, sometime, because I really can't be bothered doing one of these when there's no games. Uh, we'll see you then. How are the lads, etc., etc. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. I bet Mitrovic scores. I bet he does. Boop. I would love it if Mitrovic scored at the weekend. I would love it. I would love it. Oh, well, not this weekend, but whatever, after the national it. break. He's going to score. No, I mean, this going to get national break. <laughs> <laughs> I need to tell my friend. Who are you, Serbia? Is it Serbia? Uh,